Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Reclaimer with 2XP Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a brief video unboxing the 2018 MacBook Pro 13 inch. I got this to replace my mid-2015 MacBook Pro 15 inch. Um, the, the 2015 uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro, as you can see here, still in great condition, it's working well. Um, but, I don't know, it's getting a little older, uh, I, it's not keeping up with what I need it to keep up with, and I actually wanted something a little more portable. So, I actually went to a 13 inch, which some of you may think is a downgrade, um, but with the new uh, quad core processor in here, it's an i5 uh, quad core processor, uh, I think that this is going to keep up with what I need it to do. So let's go ahead and unbox it first, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit while I'm unboxing. So, uh, typical Apple fashion, very, very nice, sleek uh, packaging. This is the space gray version. Uh, so, here it is. It's, well, uh, comparing it to my current 15 inch, it's, it's quite light. I'm going to put that to the side for now. Of course, we have our charging cable, which is actually a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 uh, charging cable. I'm sure there are Apple stickers in here. I've got tons of them at this point. And then we have uh, the charging adapter. It is smaller than what you would get from a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, and that includes the current gen. This is a 61-watt uh, USB-C charger. So I'm going to set that to the side for now. I'll set this to the side put the stickers back because, you know, I may want them for later. We'll close up the box. Okay, so I'm just going to take my 15 inch here. Believe this weighs somewhere around the four and a half to five pound um, mark. And we're going to take our 15 inch, or I'm sorry, our 13 inch uh, 2018 version. This, I believe, somewhere weighs around the three pound mark, three and a half pound mark. Uh, and let's just go ahead and put them next to each other. You can see the size difference between a 13 and a 15. Um, one of the key reasons I purchased the 13 was I wanted portability. Uh, you may have noticed, and let me just wake my screen here, you may have noticed that my gaming PC, my desktop PC, is actually Windows based. Um, and, uh, you know, some people find that a little weird uh, because, you know, I'm a uh, a Windows user and a Mac user, that's okay. Um, when I when I do stuff on the road, uh, or when I do things uh, for my basic everyday computing needs, I use Mac OS, and I use uh, the iOS uh, platform on iPad and iPhone. And of course I have my Apple Watch, so I'm pretty bought into the Apple ecosystem. Uh, and, and that's all right. I mean, when I, I still honestly think that Windows has uh, definitely has a place, even if you're a Mac user, uh, Video editing, for example, I typically edit video on um, my desktop PC because I use Adobe Premiere. And even though you can use, you can certainly use Adobe Premiere on a MacBook Pro, um, it's really, I still don't think it's really optimized for Mac OS. So even with my 15 inch here, um, which I think was very capable of editing with Adobe Premiere, it would still run a little wonky. So um, I use, when I am editing on my Mac, and I'm editing this video on my Mac, I do use uh, Final Cut, Final Cut Pro. Um, so that is that is something to hold up, pull out there now. So that's that. Let me go ahead and open up my 15 inch. And let's go ahead and take off the, the plastic here. Everybody loves that, right? The space gray is very nice, very nice looking. Let's go ahead and open up. It's still really nice to open um, with one finger. That, that's always nice. Nice bright display is inbound. I can already kind of tell. Uh, this registers at 500 nits, which I'm sure you know from, from the spec sheets. Um, so if I kind of put these side by side, and I have not set this Mac up yet, if I put them side by side, you can tell uh, definitely that this is a smaller form factor. Um, now, one of the things uh, you probably have seen if you're shopping for a MacBook Pro, a new MacBook Pro, is this has uh, the new and quote-unquote improved Apple keyboard. Um, definitely, definitely different compared to uh, an older generation MacBook Pro. The older generation MacBooks are going to have um, the nice chiclet style keys um, with 
I think a pretty good travel distance, uh, responsive feel to it. Whereas, uh, you know, some of the complaints that folks have had with the newer MacBook keyboards is that they're a little more mushy. Um, it's definitely a smaller travel distance. Um, and it sometimes, for some people, it's more comfortable to type on or it's less comfortable to type on. You're really gonna have to try one out to decide if you like this keyboard or not. Um, I, I, I tried out my wife's uh, MacBook keyboard, which is a little different from this. And I actually type faster on it and I seem to have less mistakes. So even though it doesn't feel as, as nice as I would like it to, um, when it comes to depth of travel, like I could actually tell which keys I'm pressing, I think that I, I think that this in the long run is going to be more comfortable to type on. Now the other thing that we're going to see here is, um, and, and you probably already know this, but on the older MacBook Pros, you have better I/O options. Uh, well, better is going to be subjective, I guess, but I have. Uh, full-size USB, full-size HDMI, I have a card reader, then we have MagSafe. I, oh, I really wish Apple could bring MagSafe back. I, <laughs> MagSafe has been a godsend, especially when you have pets or kids. Um, so we have MagSafe, we have two Thunderbolt ports, we have another full-size USB and a headphone, a combination headphone mic port. Compare that to the newer MacBook Pros. Now this particular MacBook Pro has four, um, Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C full speed ports and a headphone adapter and combination mic jack. So uh, it does have that going for it. That's cool. Um, you know, having the full size ones are going to be great because as you see more and more Thunderbolt uh, accessories come out in the market, you're going to have, I think, more versatility than what you've been stuck with with legacy ports. But, I mean, I have SD card readers. I have cameras. I mean, I'm filming on a DSLR right now. And it was so nice to be able to just put in the card. It was so nice to be able to do that. Uh, now I have to carry around an adapter. You know what? It's not a huge deal to me. Um, but I can see it being a huge deal for some. So, um, that being said, let me just quick give you some initial impressions after I do the setup here. Now, one of the things, I've come to the setup part here, one of the things that is kind of neat is this does have Touch ID enabled. Now, I have an Apple Watch, and if you have a MacBook already, you know that you can use your Apple Watch to unlock your, your Mac device, which is really cool. However, it doesn't really work all the time on the 15-inch. I don't know if there's just something funky and I need to do some type of maybe a restore, I'm not sure, but it definitely is a little funky on this. So I like the ability that I can have Touch ID as a backup if this isn't working quickly. Yes, I can still type in my password, I get it, um, but hey, it's a first world problem, right? So uh, I'm already noticing um, that the screen just seems to be a little more vibrant to me compared to my 2015. I'm also noticing that keyboard layout wise, um, it's comfortable to type on, it's very, um, familiar to me in regards to the form factor. I think by not having the 15 inch, I mean, obviously you can tell that it's it's uh, smaller around the sides and obviously it's a smaller screen. Uh, but I think from a portability perspective, this is going to be very, very nice. It's gonna hit my goals of having, um, having a portable yet fairly powerful device. That being said, I, I, this video is fairly long, but I wanted to just make a video. I wanted to edit on this thing. I wanna see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna add an annotation uh, in here to tell you how it actually uh, worked out. Uh, but from a size and portability perspective, and from a looks perspective, this is a, an awesome looking device. Um, from all the spec sheets and all the other benchmark videos you can see on YouTube, it's a pretty well performing device. Um, smaller device though. So definitely check out some of the other great videos on YouTube about this uh, device. And I, uh, I hope that uh, this was somewhat helpful, especially having it next to a 15 inch to kind of give you a better idea of a size comparison. But this is kind of just a quick impromptu video just to do some editing on this and, and to get a video up on the YouTube. So if you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, comment, like it, whatever you want to do, that's fine. This is Reclaimer from 2XP Gaming. We'll see ya.